And John, the CEO, said it was also a hasty decision. She also told me that she was upset because she insists that Jasmine is very invested in their work with young people and the school system. Duval County Public Schools has cut ties with youth LGBTQ group Jasmine. It stems from social posts for a Jasmine-sponsored event that had this card game, which features illustrations of men's genitals. But Jasmine leaders insist it was only played by adults. CEO Cindy Watson said a big part of their work is HIV testing and education. Adding a game like that helps with destigmatizing the virus. What was misconstrued is that... Um, it, they, they make it look like we're doing uh, an activity for young adults with 13-year-olds, and that is simply not true. Internal emails I obtained from DCPS show that Jasmine reached out to the district about what they describe as a right-wing website that first brought attention to this. Superintendent Dr. Diana Green sent the termination email 10 days later. She then emailed all principals stating in part, the district simply cannot partner with the organization given their use of program materials. Jasmine's CEO believes this was a hasty decision and an overreaction. You know, it's, it's, I mean, I have regrets that we didn't see how it could be misunderstood, um, but we're trying to do some really serious work here with our HIV prevention um, on one hand, and then on another hand, we're trying to do work with, uh, with students in schools. According to DCPS contract with Jasmine, the organization helped provide a plethora of services, including helping the creation of programs inclusive for LGBTQ students, helping teachers create a safe environment, and assistance with HIV and STI programs. Without us being able to support GSA, students don't have um, a solid LGBT-focused organization in there, you know, just being, being present, helping them connect with resources, and being positive role models. And DCPS said moving forward to fill that void, they are looking at the remaining district partnerships to see if any additional resources are needed. They do say that in the meantime, staff from the Office of Equity and Inclusion and Health and Physical Education Department will provide an additional layer of support to schools and families as that is needed. For local coverage, you can count on at DCPS headquarters. I'm Ben Ryan, Action News Jack.